Coach, it was just a tremendous summer for women's soccer in general with the Women's World Cup. In addition to that, Rocky Rodriguez playing such a big part. What can you say about the growth of the sport and how it impacted your team? It was so fun to watch the World Cup this summer, obviously, and it was neat to talk to people that maybe didn't have quite the passion for soccer before the last two summers of World Cup, and I think that the energy in our country is obviously growing. Um, the energy for Penn State soccer and Rocky Rod Rodriguez, I think, had a lot of growth this summer. That was absolutely a great experience. Um, it was a dream come true to me, uh, but I also, I, I also miss my Penn State family, to be honest, and um, what I can bring back from that experience is just, it's just you know managing pressure, uh, and then I always try to transmit just confidence to the team. Um, I try to have that presence and just bring maybe control of the tempo of the game. You know I think there's always a time for everything, even inside the game. During the game, there's a time to attack and push, but there's also a time to sustain the attack. There's a time to just take it a little bit of a breather. Um, so I think that's that's the main thing that I bring. How humble Rocky is, even despite the fact that she's played on the world stage. I think it keeps our team really grounded, and um, I think you could you can almost expect out of her to come back and maybe have a little bit of a big head, but you don't see any of that from her behavior. So I think what she does is provide our team some perspective of um, we're all out here doing the same thing, and um, we need to make sure that not one player is bigger than ourselves, bigger than the rest of the team, and that's what she provides for us. When you look at the team, it certainly looks like everybody's really locked in, ready to go. That has to probably has a lot to do with the leadership. What can you say about that group of leaders that you have on the team this year? Yeah, I think you have to talk about Britt Eckerstrom when you start talking about leadership. She's been fit, she, she's always fit. Um, fifth year, senior captain, and she walks the walk and she, um, she drives this team she, by her voice, by her actions, and I think she's incredibly motivational to her teammates. Um, but then you look at Rocky and obviously she leads by example and big smile on her face and brings everybody uh, kind of brings them uh, makes them feel a little bit more comfortable and then you got Mal Weber who's just the workhorse so I think we've got a good um, collection of leaders within this group. One of our pillars is United Family and that's a really big deal on and off the field but especially on the field uh, we work together really well and communication is really strong and it helps us all get on the same page. When you see the, the way everybody's worked during the offseason to get to this point right now, what type of excitement level do you have heading into the year? Um, it's really exciting because everyone's come in so fit and um, ready to play, so we don't have to worry about that in preseason. And I think we've got a lot of uh, good leadership in our upperclassmen, and so we're really uh, bringing those freshmen along quick, and they're catching on, and it should be a really good season. We have so many variables. I think we're all in. I think the freshmen are emerging into the team pretty well, and there's just so much talent, but what I like the most about the team is just everyone is willing to work hard and it doesn't matter how talented someone is uh, I think we're all in this together and and we have it clear that we're gonna go as a team how would you describe this team to the fans who haven't seen them yet deep I think you're gonna see a lot of different weapons in this team I think you're gonna see different uh, players against different opponents and so I think you come to one game and you see a certain style and the next game you might see a little different formation which is fun for the coaches we've had an opportunity to try out some more things this year um, but for us it's about putting the right pieces out against each opponent. Finally Jeffrey Field obviously a tremendously special place for the history of the program when you or have the opportunity to play in front of a crowd in front of support like that how does that make the players feel? Jeffrey Field, that field, that surface is uh, makes this place the best place in the country to play college soccer, hands down. The environment that our community uh, creates at Jeffrey Field, obviously the surface that Herb Combs and his guys work on every single day. Um, but then the pride of this program, well before I got here, the pride since 1994 of protect our home, protect Jeffrey Field, I think that's passed on from each player to each class. I mean, it's like our 12th man playing under those lights and with um, such a great atmosphere, so energetic. It's just, I mean, you can't have a bad game on Jeffrey Field with that, uh, that crowd and that excitement going on. Jeffrey's a perfect field. It's a world-class field. And, um, you know, once the game starts, it's all about defending our home and, and putting on a show, really. It's goosebumps out there. It's electric. Uh, when all the, all the fans come out, we've got the Army up there. and. It couldn't be better. That is the best place in the country to play under the lights. Uh, I'm super excited for it. That's, I'm most excited for that, really.